one of the primary benefits of forging is uh, the, the recrystallization that occurs from the strain energy, the shearing forces that go through the cross section during deformation. Uh, there are several different types of recrystallization. There is static recrystallization. That will occur during just a simple thermal process. But what the forging process then adds is with this strain energy, with these shearing forces that are going on, we're in a sense breaking up the structure. It's almost like creating tiny little pieces. You're making it reform into all these little grains. And those little fine grains are what give you the impact toughness and the fatigue properties that are so important to parts in service. A benefit of impression die forging, especially when we take uh, bar stock, uh, which has been rolled so that the uh, grain structure is longitudinal down the length of the bar, is that then when we form this part, we can make that grain structure go around the bends of the part or go out into areas that need additional support. It's like the grain of wood. Uh, and as I think anybody who's handled wood knows that uh, trying to cut across the grain the material is a lot tougher. Well, the same thing happens with forged product when we've been able to control that grain structure so that it flows down, say, the length of the part or through the areas that need additional strength. And one of the things that forging gives you is, is almost like a trifecta, to use sports terms. It's uh, crushing out the bad guys. It's smoothing the playing field. It's creating a directionality of the strength of the parts. All those things together, it's, it's something that forging does that other processes just don't do.